da, da. Probably should have shot it first. Ah, you know what? We'll make it difficult. We'll shoot it while we're testing it. All right, welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here in this uh, beautiful Church of Fire property. In fact, I have about 15 minutes to make this review because we have a sermon at 6 p.m. Uh, starting sharp, as always, uh, <laughs> we're gonna do a Facebook Live and uh, soon we'll probably start doing the YouTube uh, Live as well. So if you have not seen the new church channel, check it out. It's called The Church of Fire. Yes, and speaking of fire, we're gonna do some firing today because I have finally, finally wanted to review this brand for a very long time and today I do have it for the first time on this channel. S-C-C-Y, which stands for such cool... Nah, actually, that's not what it stands for, I just said it. <laughs> but uh, not only I'm excited because this is the first uh, S-C-C-Y review on this channel, but I'm also excited because these guys are my neighbors. Yes, they're originally from here, Daytona Beach, Florida, which is probably like three and a half hours from here. So it's great. I wanted to say thank you guys for sending me your brand new gun, one of the newer models. Uh, I'm very excited to do the review, so let's get into it. This is DVG, yes, which stands for don't, no, it's, I don't know what it stands for. So DVG one, check this out. 3.1 inch barrel chambered in nine millimeter, 10 plus one capacity. It comes with uh, two magazines, and uh, as you can see, both of them already come with the pinky extension installed, which I do like, but you do also get flat base plates for your magazines if you are planning to, you know, if you want to do it as low profile as possible. So, without uh, any more hesitation and conversation, let's uh, put some rounds through it and uh, see what this thing can do. Very excited for it. Overall, 9 millimeter in 3.1 inch barrel. I expect a little bit of a recoil, uh, but uh, kind of very important. Honestly, very important the amount of recoil in this gun because this, especially the 9 millimeter option, seems to be uh, the choice today for a lot of people that are new to guns. You know, whenever it comes to new guns, they think, okay, something small, something not very scary, all right? And then they buy small guns like this with short barrels, and then they shoot them for the first time on the range, and they're like, holy cow, I didn't expect it to be uh, that much of a kick on it. And uh, they get disappointed, and then they don't carry it anymore because they're disappointed. Well, we'll find out what the recoil on this is. Got uh, five rounds here. Surprisingly, very easy to rack. Let's see what we got. All right. And you can hear the peacocks on the background going crazy from my uh, <laughs> shooting. Okay, so first impression, I have to say, definitely not as much a recoil as I expected. Handles the recoil beautifully let's start from the very beginning why it does so beautiful okay first of all the pinky extension definitely helps now my uh hands are not that big but still as you can see i get just barely enough of the grip with the pinky extension now without the pinky extension you probably end up with your pinky hanging out which i mean it's not a big deal if that's if that's how you feel better carrying that's fine you can always modify your grip just a little bit to accommodate uh to the grip size but i have to say a few things about this grip i really do like let me put the magazine back so we have the full impression, check this out. You have the finger grooves, which I used to like on the previous Glock generations. I'm kind of sad that they discontinued that on their new generation five Glocks. Maybe in the generation six, they will bring it back. But I really, really do like this finger grooves because they just make it much more, I don't know, pleasant in a way to hold it. Now, speaking of the aggression, as you can see, this part right here is uh, 
kind of imitation hand stippling which is not bad at all for laser work this is pretty good it does add decent amount of aggression the back does have some aggression the front does not really have any aggression at all which you really don't need that much on the front in fact you probably might appreciate it for a faster draw to have a little bit of a slicker all right front now there is no aggression at all on the front of the trigger guard which i probably would recommend the ccy implementing a little bit of aggression here especially for someone who carries without the pink extension if they are preferred to have this as an extra kind of hold another thing that i would recommend the ccy is to implement some aggression here as well because in a compact gun like this in a small gun like this you want to utilize as much of that grip as possible to get a good grip on it to have as good of a recoil management as possible and here a little tiny uh, aggressive gas paddle would be nice I mean you can always stipple it yourself but uh, yeah just would be nice to have now moving on we have uh, our mag release which is very actually very nice button honestly works very well and as you can see not much of a mag well for a faster mag replacement you kind of will have to get used to it a little bit but uh, the magazines are tapered at the top and as you can see they are double stacked tank capacity um, the kind of nicely nicely uh, windowed only two windows on one side not on the other would be nice to have it numbered just for the hell of it uh, but the mag release button works very well it has a decent amount of kind of extension to get a grip on it keep in mind it's not ambidextrous all right moving further we got our slide release which actually is the slide release in its one hand operation which i am very very happy to see in uh, smaller compact guns like this well probably would even call it a uh, micro compact for that matter well probably micro is under the three inch barrel 2.8 inch barrel but this kind of is compact anyway it doesn't really matter but uh, in smaller guns like this most of the times like for example you have the Ruger LCP um, Ruger LCP what else is there uh, six sig P something something doesn't really matter most of the times you have uh, a slide stop not a slide release which is the idea is just to have the slide locked back on the last round and not releasing the slide here it's both excellent job SCCY I absolutely love it not only that as you can see there's a decent amount of extension on this slide release for you to have to use it as a extra grip check this out I mean obviously it's not gonna lock back on the last round if you have too much pressure on it not a big deal for me but as uh you, you know to use it as uh handling the recoil great so let's put some uh five more rounds and uh while we're doing that i want to point out that this ammo red that i'm using is the tricky the tricky ammo some of the pistols don't like it some of the pistols have problems with it it's uh 124 fmj nothing really special uh 124 grain and uh, it handles perfectly on all of the Glocks that I shoot. But uh, some of the guns had some problems. Like for example, the uh, compact new Canic did not like the ammo at all, was jamming after every single freaking round. So before doing this review, I was kind of a little bit, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, hmm, should I use this ammo or should I use something a little bit of a better quality? which is not fantastic quality anyway, but <laughs> better, better than what I have. But it's a good surprise. As you can see, it handles this ammo without any problems, which is fantastic. All right, so let's do some more uh, shooting, some more peacock scaring. Let's see. Surprisingly easy to rack. I love it. sides once you get a hold of them once you figure them out work very very well all right 
let's move further. Let's talk about the slide. As you can see, the slide does have serrations on the front and on the back, which are very aggressive actually. So it's uh, in however you like to rack, whether it's like this with the fingers from the front or if it's like this, you can definitely do it. I mean, honestly, it's so intuitive, this gun. It's very easy to uh, get used to it. I kind of honestly already uh, am used to it. Now, one thing I would say that it's missing, in my opinion, is the accessory rail. I think it would be nice to have an accessory rail on this gun, a little, probably not much of the Picatinny space, uh, like a standard 1913 Picatinny accessory rail for a flashlight or whatever you want, but you probably can find something like, uh, what are they, uh, TRL-6, probably for, for this gun, they'll probably start making it if it becomes a little bit more popular. Now, they do have the, uh, they do have the uh, MOS version, so if you would like to put the red dot on it, uh, you can definitely get um, a model that has a MOS cut out, pretty good. Now let's move on and talk about the sights. As you can see, these are your standard three dot sights, three post sights, and it's very easy to get uh, used to them without any problems. Nicely adjusted out of the factory. Now uh, let's move on to the trigger. We got a five and a half pound trigger here. And uh, most of the times, my problem with these uh, compact little guns is that the trigger on them is just too unpredictable. And I was worried that this is gonna be the case here. But here, I was actually uh, quite surprised. Check this out. So you have about, about three and a half millimeters, very safe, familiar travel. And then you have about, three millimeters, maybe two and a half millimeters of unfamiliar travel, and then a crisp break. All right, let's see if I can do it again. So we have very safe, very familiar travel. Oops, a little bit too much over the pressure. Safe, unsafe, and then crisp break. Excellent trigger, surprisingly. For, for a compact model, for, for the price that you are getting it in, um, surprisingly excellent, excellent trigger. So let me put uh, some five more shots through it and then we will uh, try to come up with a more or less reasonable. You know what? Let's put some more shots than five. Let's just put a whole bunch of shots through it. Because why not? I really do like this gun. Honestly, for a uh, nine millimeter, I mean, this would be comparable to your Ruger LCP Max. Or what, what was it? LCP Max 9, whatever the hell that model was. That that's this would be a direct competition to this gun. And honestly, I would choose this. I would definitely choose this. Well, one of the reasons because they are in Florida here too. So Florida, you gotta support your uh, <laughs> your local. Now, once you get past about six, seven. Uh, rounds in the magazine, it does become a little bit uh, harder to load, so get used to it. Uh, not the easiest to load magazine, which I mean, this is what you would expect in a small one because the spring is short, so they kind of have to make it tight, which is fine. So let's do some shooting and uh, let's actually put it through a little bit of uh, a little bit of a test. All right. Didn't lag back on the last round, but it's because I had my uh, thumb on the slide release for extra grip. As you can see, no problems at all with firing with this ammo. So I'm very, very happy with the reliability so far. Um, obviously, if anything changes, I'll definitely make an update. But excellent job, SCCY. I am definitely surprised. I expected much, much less considering the price. And... Uh, Considering, I guess, that the company is fairly new, um, Joe Robach, the guy who started the company, I think it was like, what, 2003? So relatively new company on the market, but as you can see, they're making excellent products. One last thing that I wanted to mention here is this quad lock system, which is basically the kind of a newer system that is used in uh, guns with the free-floating barrel. 
which is the case with most of the firearms out there, with most of the pistols. Um, basically what it does is it provides the pressure at the back of the uh, barrel, which makes it a little bit more stable and less wiggly, which accuracy impacts the accuracy, which is most of the case. This is the distance that you will be shooting. And as you can see, you can, without any problems, even with the rapid fire, you can definitely hit your target. So overall, definitely happy with the brand. Florida brand didn't let us down. Great job, SCCY. Thank you again for sending me this uh, to do a review on, uh, which definitely makes me happy because usually I am pretty hard on everything that I review and I find complaints here and there. And I did find a few complaints here, a few things that you can improve. Um, so uh, thank you for your trust. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this pistol, about this review. If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below as well. Uh, I think it is already 5.59, so it's time for me to go and rock and roll our church Sunday sermon. Thank you guys for watching. This is Firearms for America. I'll see you guys in the next video.